Hey, first Jay again, and I'm playing more Miscrits, and, uh, got a few things, I guess. Not a whole lot going on here. Um, my team is like it is, because I was fighting a friend earlier. But, uh, I guess I'm not fighting them anymore, so I don't need that anymore. Let's go ahead and go to Legendary, put you back in my team, put you back in my team, and put my newest Miscrit, Beosharite, or whatever you pronounce that, in my team. As you notice, my Miscrit gems are fairly low, because I bought him. Um, I wonder if I can get to the ridge now. I made a video the other day of me trying to get to the ridge, and I couldn't get to it. And I still cannot get to it. People keep telling me, hey, go to the new epic ridge, because um, it's out. And uh, I can't get to it, so I know how to get to it. There's one way here in Mount Gemma that I showed you. And there's another way. Do, 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 do. Around the back here. Alright, gotta go. I guess I gotta go all the way around. Oh, there's even a sign now. Hmm. To back here. But they are both blocked. Look out for a future chance to access Epic Ridge. Now, uh, I made a video about Epic Ridge already, I, very briefly. Uh, I didn't really like the video, so I didn't upload it. Uh, I made it like four or five days ago, actually. Um, and, uh, like, basically, I made it as soon as Miscromania Mag released their video about Epic Ridge, where they were their first video where they showed the map. Uh, I, don't, they don't think they, I don't think they fought anyone. All they did was show the map, and that was it, and then they left. Um, and uh, immediately after, I was like, I was like, oh, so excited. I was like, yes, I cannot wait to go there. And I, I was told that there was, it's a pretty small area. It's like the third, it's like a third of the size of Mount Gemma. Um, and so it's pretty small. Um... But it's also, uh, uh, but I was told there's like a lot of new mis miscrits there. Like, I was told there's like 52 new miscrits or something in the area. I don't know if that's true or not. Which, if it is, that's a, a lot of new miscrits, and that's really cool if there are, because I cannot wait to go there and just start capturing new miscrit after new, mis new miscrit after new miscrit. That sounds super cool. Um, but, uh, Something tells me that's not true. Like, I have a feeling in my gut that that's not how many new miscrits are there. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, that's really all... The funny thing is, that people were like, oh, there's so many new updates since since the last time you were on miscrits, and I just covered all of them just then. I mean, really, it's... There was a new miscrit that came out, and Epic Ridge is coming out, but I can't get... But no one can get to it unless you... Uh, Spent money last month and got the box, uh, which I was going to do, but I have had some money problems recently. Still having some money problems recently, um, so I can't uh, buy anything right now. But I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I'm I'm doing fine. Uh, just a little bit of a rough patch I'm in that I that I put myself into because I was trying to help out too many people. <laughs> so, um, basically a couple, of my, a couple of friends of mine got money problems, and I was like, oh, well, I have money, let me give you money to help you out. And they were like, oh, okay, I promise to pay you back. And then they never paid me back. So, my fault for trusting them, but you live and you learn, so, you know, that's how it happens. <clears throat> um... Let's see here. Gonna go ahead and level all these guys up. Just a little bit. <clears throat> I don't even think I'll get them to 10. If I'm lucky, I'll get them to 10 in this episode, but I, I'm not trying to, because uh, really, uh, this is why I'm kind of dying on Miskirch, uh, because there's nothing to do. Um, basically, I use Miskirch nowadays not as a way to play Miskirch, but as a way to kind of just talk to you guys. Because uh, there's no other game out there really that I can play that's kind of that's, that's so easy basically. That's 
where I, you know, where there's where there's still stuff I can kind of do. Like right now, I'm leveling up three brand new Miskirts that could be super useful in the future, but probably not because BBS is in this really weird phase right now where they're trying to just screw over everybody. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what Broken Bull Studios is doing right now, and I wish that they would figure out what they're doing. And, oh my goodness, my phone is vibrating like crazy. Um... No, 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 Okay. Goodness, it was just stuff. I forgot how easy they are to level. They level up after pretty much every fight. I wonder how long it'll last. Buffet. Interesting. No, I don't need to... I don't need to upgrade that. What are you going to learn? Elemental defense. Nice. Bite. Okay. And you don't learn anything at level 3, right? Nope. Okay, it's level four. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so, um, yeah, basically using now Miskirts is just a way to talk about stuff that's been going on in my life. Um, so a lot has been going on. A lot, 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 a lot has been going on, which um, hopefully you will explain my lack of videos recently. Uh, for example, um, I, as you guys know, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, that's not true anymore. Um, for the past two weeks, I have been in Greenville, South Carolina. And then starting Monday, which it's Sunday, it's Sunday morning right now. It's 5 o'clock in the morning Sunday. So I guess tomorrow, <laughs> about 28 hours from now, I'm going to be packing all my stuff up, back into my car, which thankfully I didn't really unpack much. I really unpacked like one outfit, a couple pillows, and a computer. And that's really in my computer. And that's really all I unpacked from my car. And I'm basically going to throw it back into my car. And um, then I'm going to be heading about 40 miles. Or maybe not 40 miles. I don't know if they said... I can't remember if they said 40 minutes or 40 miles. But I'll be really close to Orlando, Florida. And I'll be in Orlando for about a month or close to Orlando for about a month. Uh, and I'm really hoping while I'm there to, uh, I am going to be working a lot. I mean, that's the main reason why I'm there is to work. Uh, and that's, that's actually, my work has been tearing me up here. Oh my goodness. I was, all right. So basically long story short here, they, uh, gave me 13 days worth of work and asked me to finish it in eight so, they, you know, basically a third less of the time that I, you know, would have. And in fact, it was even more than a third less. It's what they gave me to finish. <coughs> oh, man. You guys have no idea how hard I was pushing myself and pushing myself. Every single night. Every single night. I came home and fell asleep. Instantly. In I was just that... Tired every single day after work. What's going on here? What's with this weird cap? Do they now separate buffs and debuffs, or is that just a weird glitch there? Anyway, <coughs> um, so yeah, I just every single night I come home and I would just pass out because and, and I would, and I was in so much pain like every single day. Just I was just really, really pushing myself and pushing myself and pushing myself. Uh, but I finally, I finally did it. I finished it. I did it on time. In fact, I kind of finished like half a day early. Um, so, uh, they were really happy about it. I'm really happy about it. I was, I was, they, were, they told me they were proud of me, which made me feel really good. Um, and, uh, so now I'm heading to, uh, start, <laughs> starting tomorrow. I'll be heading to Florida to work again at a place down there for, uh, what I was told is a month. And then after that, I'll be going somewhere else. And I don't know where that is, but I will be going somewhere else. And I'd like to record at least a short video of um, where I'm actually staying at while I'm here. Because it's a really nice, like, you put me in a really nice place that I've kind of uh, not completely messed up. <laughs> but I've messed, it got a little dirty. Uh, but really, I've, I've, I've tried my best to keep it the way it was when I got here because um, 
really, really appreciated the nice area that they let me stay in. So, um, who knows, maybe tomorrow, you know, maybe or in a few hours after this, I'll, I'll try and post a short video of me just showing off, um, where I am. Uh, and when I go to Florida, I'll try and do that immediately, uh, that way you guys can see it before I mess everything up. <laughs> so, anyway, <clears throat> I do have this decent little setup here, um, kind of awkward, because I'm, I'm, I'm a tall guy, I'm six foot two, and I'm sitting on this couch, uh, and, uh, everything is, like, everything is, like, at my knee level. Like, seriously, it's, like, way down. I'm, I'm like, hunched over, like, the hunchback of Notre Dame here. Like, it actually does hurt my back after a while. Stretch! There we go. And just stretch and get back to normal for a bit. Uh, because... It is really strange playing. I've even tried to like lean back and play, and it just doesn't work because I'll because uh, I have to use my keyboard. But for most games I play, I have to use my keyboard. Um, like I've been playing this game called Tree of Life recently with my friends um, Aaron and Scott, who I did the Move or Die video with, or Doom and Doom and Scott. He likes me to call him Doom in videos, and I need to remember that. <laughs> but I've known him for years as as Aaron, but uh, I have other friends named Aaron that <clears throat> prefer me to call it, so I guess to avoid confusion, he prefers Doom. Anyway, um, so Doom and Scott, and a few other play a few of the players, actually quite a, quite a few of the players, <clears throat> we've been playing that, and um, you know, you move with the WASD keys and you know, the inventory is E and et cetera, et cetera. You know, basic, basic, you know, gamer stuff. Um, so I have been playing a bit of Pokemon Go, which people are super excited about. And people have already asked me to make a video on it. How am I going to do that? How do you guys expect me to make a video on Pokemon Go? Uh, the game, uh, yeah. As far as I know, I don't know how to record... My game, my, my phone screen, I don't know how to record it. Second of all, to be honest, I'm not very good at it. Uh, I've only, in two days, I've caught three Pokemon. And my first Pokemon was the starter Pokemon, which, of course, I got Squirtle. Oh, no, I've gotten three others, actually. Uh, I got a Pidgey, a Rattata, and I don't want to turn on the game right now and find out. Uh, I can't remember the other one, but uh, if I, you know, get the chance, I'll post it on Facebook or something saying what it was. It's nothing special. Like, it's nothing, like, super awesome or anything. Oh, sure. I will take that. Hey, what do you... What are you gonna learn? Debaser, okay. Anyway. Um, so there's really not too much to say on Pokemon Go, except for the fact that people are asking me to record it, and I'm like, how? <laughs> how am I gonna record it? So, because all the times I've ever recorded a phone app, uh, well, the first time I did it, it was um, using a direct connection from my friend's iPad. They had an iPad, and that's how I played Flappy Bird. I had to borrow the, her iPad, and she was so nice to let me borrow it, um, even though she really didn't want to, but she understood. She was like, well, it's for your content, and... You know, I understand. And she's such a, yeah, she's a great, great person. Great person, really. I wish I could say more about her, but I know that she doesn't want me to, so I won't. I can first brag about her all day. Really, she's really awesome. Anyway, um, maybe one day. Maybe one day she'll let me brag about her. <laughs> anyway, um, so I borrowed her iPad, and, and I was able to um, make a Flappy Bird video using her video. And I also did the Ninja Saga video for the Ninja Saga um, phone game using her iPad. Um, and I think maybe a few other games. I can't remember. It's been, it's been, that was a long time ago. That was, uh, God, I don't know how long ago that was, but that was a long time ago that I did that. At least a year ago that was. <clears throat> and, um, did they level up? Yeah, they did, yeah. Okay. 
Do, 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 do. Sorry, I lost track. And then recently, how I've been recording phone games is through BlueStacks, which is a free program that you can download, absolutely free, and it lets you play Android-based games on your computer for free, which is really awesome. And Pokemon Go is on Google Play, so it's allowed, so it's playable on the Android. However, how you catch Pokemon is it connects to your GPS and you walk around and the, the further away you walk uh the you know more likely it is that you're gonna run into a pokemon and that pokemon then it then connects to your camera so you can catch it actually where you are which is super super cool and it's really it's really cool but uh how I'm going to do that on the computer using BlueStacks, I don't know. And also, I have a feeling that recording me doing that wouldn't be the best content because basically I'd be, I'm, I mean, I'd be cutting out a lot of footage. I'd be basically walking around for God knows who long, finding it, and, and you wouldn't even be watching me. You'd be watching the little guy walk. I don't know. It'd just be weird. <laughs> so, um... I don't know how I'd do it because I don't know how to record on my phone and uh, blue st- won't, won't work on blue st- won't work on blue stacks, so can't really do it. <laughs> but it is a fun game and I definitely recommend playing it, especially since it's free. It's one hundred percent free. What are you doing? Why are you watching this video? Go ahead and play Pokemon Go, <laughs> unless it's like super late and I understand. Or you're tired because you had a long day at work or school or whatever. Then, hey, thank you for choosing to watch my video. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> so, that didn't level them up. But it got them close. I think they're about to both level now. No, maybe not. I think the other two are still like a fight ahead. Inexperience wise. Anyway, um, last thing I really want to talk about before these guys hit level 10, I'll go ahead and talk about this a, a bit. Um, I've been watching a lot of anime, as you guys know. Uh, I think it's been a while since I talked about all the anime I was watching. Um, one anime that I was watching, which I hope is still going on, but I don't, I don't know if the last episode I watched was a season finale or not. But it's called like Ray Zero, and I can't remember the rest of the title because it's in Japanese and I'm not a Japanese speaker. <laughs> but it's called like Ray Zero, and it is awesome. It is super good. Definitely recommend watching it. Um, the last I, I've really liked the main character, although the last two episodes have made me like the main character a little bit less. Which is really unfortunate because um, I've really liked him up to this point, um, but it's still it's still really good, and I'm still looking forward to seeing what's going to happen from this point on. <clears throat> and uh, I definitely recommend watching it. So that's good. Of course, uh, Boku no Hero Academia was super good with All Might and. Uh, his powers and all that stuff. It's it's just really, really good. Um, that did end. And uh, again, another anime that I highly recommend. Um, starting on the 16th, which is uh, six days from today. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Uh, starting on the 16th from 16 days from today, or excuse me, six days from today, uh, the very first episode of One Punch Man in English dub releases on Toonami, so be excited about that for that. If you hate watching episodes in uh, Japanese with English subtitles, you can now watch it in English. So that's really cool. I'm really looking forward to that because I have a lot. I have too many friends that refuse to watch anime with Japanese English subtitles. I don't know why. They just think it's too hard. They always, this was their always they always give me the same excuse. They're always like, well when I watch anime I watch it to watch it, not because I want to read. If I wanted to read I'd go read the manga or something like that. Which I mean, I don't know. I guess that makes sense. But to be honest, you uh, really miss a whole lot 
if that's what you're doing, if you're planning on just reading the manga, you may set out, you know, first of all, the animation, uh, secondly, the music and the voiceovers and everything. You know, a lot you get from the anime that you don't get in the manga. But then again, the same is also true for the manga. And I have I do both. I read mangas and watch anime, so I know the best of both worlds. <coughs> anyway. Um, last anime I want to talk about is uh, an anime that I'm super excited has come back for season two. And that is Shokugeki no Soma. Episode 2 just released today. I've already seen it. Uh, I love how they're wasting no time at all. They're just getting right into the meat. You know, excuse the pun, but they're getting right into the meat of the anime. And it is it is really good so far. And already, you know, episode 2, and they're just right in it. And it's just awesome. And I love that they're just wasting no time. Um... Because uh, that was the problem with I had with the uh, the first season that sometimes it felt to drag a little bit, but it never did too much to the point where it irritated me, and the the anime was definitely worth watching. So if you have not seen it, the the English title is Food Wars, and uh, the first season is already completed, and the second season has just started with new episodes coming out every Saturday. So, that's super cool. Anyway, uh, I think that's all I have to talk about. Um, there was a one anime that I, I couldn't I couldn't stick with, called like something Kabanari. And a lot of my fan a lot of my fans were telling me it's great, and I, I kind of got into it for a little bit. But the further the anime got on, the less interested I got in it. So, I think I stopped watching it like episode eight or nine. But you know, it's like zombies, zombie apocalypse style stuff, so. Anyway, just got all these guys up to level 10, and uh, yeah, I'm looking for more games to play. Uh, something, oh wow, you look really cool in your second evolution. Masteroid. <laughs> okay, that is an interesting name. <laughs> Masteroid. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You have such a cool looking cool looking artwork and terrible name. <laughs> Masteroid. Oh goodness, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Anyway, so I I'm looking for more uh, games to play. I'm trying to avoid um you know, <coughs> I've said this before. I really have. I've said this plenty of times. I'm trying to stop playing Miskers, trying to Stop playing Ninja Dragon. I'm trying to stop playing Cybermon. I'm trying to move on to better quality games. So, um, it's kind of funny how I'm like, I'm like, oh, so what's a, you know, what's a AAA title or something like a really good, you know, game to play? And then people were like, Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, and I'm like, and I'm like, no, I think you're missing the point. This, I'm trying to avoid those types of games. I'm trying to go up, go higher. Not, not play games of, of similar quality. I'm trying to go to better games. And people <laughs> are <we're> like... <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Um, uh, I, know, I do... I will play... I know people... A lot of people have been playing... Have been suggesting Outlast 2. And yes. I know Outlast 2 looks great. And I'm going to play it as soon as it comes out. But it's not out yet. I can't play it. I'm so sorry. I will get it as soon as it comes out. But I can't get it if it's not out. <laughs> I can't play it if it's not if it doesn't exist yet. Um, I know the demo is out, but I think you have to be given the demo, <coughs> given the demo, and I wasn't given the demo, so I can't do the demo. <coughs> and then there's also uh, I saw in, on E3 a game called We Happy Few, which looks absolutely fantastic. Has a very Bioshock feel to me, like very like the first Bioshock. So I'm super excited about that. And, um, yeah, that's going to be really cool, I think, also. So anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later!